For Gus Hiddink, the FA Cup is a competition that will always be held in high esteem. Seven years after winning the trophy, the Dutchman is back for a second spell at Chelsea. With his brief once again, to steady the ship and then add some silverware. It's a good memory to go back seven years, but now we are living in, uh, in real time and we hope to get this as far as possible, which means that uh, we, another time Wembley would be terrific. Hiddink's arrival has boosted a Chelsea side who found themselves at the wrong end of the Premier League. Everyone knows that Chelsea had a very bad first half of the season and uh, they were very close to, uh, to relegation zone. The players were not used to, to that, so we had to reinstall a bit the, the, the confidence with the players to get uh, good training sessions and getting good results because results give step-by-step uh, step more, more confidence. Unbeaten in domestic competition since his return, Hiddink does not undervalue the importance of the FA Cup to the Blues season, fielding strong sides against Scunthorpe and MK Dons. There is always a huge interest in, in going into the silverware, let's say, of, of FA Cup, which is a huge challenge for, for everyone. Uh, FA Cup worldwide has so much of an attention, so we, we are desperate to go as far as possible, which means let's go to the final, but first steps first. Winning this next tie will feel like a giant leap. Manchester City away is the hurdle Hiddink must overcome. When I heard who we, uh, we had to play in, uh, in the draw, then we, uh, we said this is, a, this is already a final played in, uh, in February. But two massive, massive teams, they are both very ambitious to go, to go and win. In February, they don't they don't give the the prizes. It's uh, the championships are made in uh, let's say in in, in the end of April and May. So also City is competing on uh, on uh, all levels. The Dutch coach has given some of Chelsea's youngsters the chance to shine in the competition. Talented midfielder Ruben Loftus Cheek has seized his opportunity and could feature against City. He's a young guy from the academy and 19 years old, and those are the opportunities we give them to, to, uh, to perform without any extra pressure and uh, hopefully make the progress that every now and then he can go into our team in the, in the Champions League as well. Since the fourth round win at MK Dons, speculation around John Terry's future has dominated the headlines. Hiddings' captain could miss the tie through injury. As a manager, you like to have, uh, for me, always in the spine of a team, I like to have the several captains, let's say, like who can who can uh, execute what you what you what you're planning, what your strategy is. That's also imp that's always very important because, as a manager, the, the the power is limited when you run on the bench. That's why it's, in my opinion, uh, very important to have uh, leaders um, on the pitch. When it comes to the FA Cup, Gus Hiddink is a traditionalist, aware of its reputation around the world. It's a competition he reveres. There was one Saturday in May, as a young kid I remember, that everyone was watching the FA Cup, the old Wembley at that time. Uh, so the whole world was watching. And so that means that, that the importance of, of this cup is huge, not just in England, but worldwide. And if you can get this silverware, then uh, yeah, that's one of the things you you have you can dream of as a, as a as a manager as well. I think the FA Cup is the with capitals the uh, cup one desperately likes to have.